Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 24th, 2022. Well, yesterday, those bears decided to come back to work for a little while, pushing the markets down just a little bit, but by and large, the bulls did a really good job of defending. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Now, as you know, I have been talking about this for a while where we have pushed up through that downtrend. And what's going to be critical in here is to see whether or not we can hold that downtrend as support or hold a higher low. Now, yesterday, unfortunately, those bears were a little bit feisty here on the Dow, pushing that Dow back down below its 50 day moving average on the day. But this morning we're trying to pump that back up ahead of some key economic data that could move us around you know, fairly significantly. So we'll want to watch that closely. Let's take a look here at um, our support levels. If we were to draw on a level of price support, I would say that price support is down in here. So we still could see those bears continue to fight enough to push us down toward those support levels in the chart. But if those bulls can continue to, uh, to fight uh, to the upside, we'll look for some resistance right up in here right at that top level in the chart. And there's some data today that could move us around. So we'll wanna stay on our toes um, in the market. So those are the levels that I would be watching and paying attention to as we progress throughout the day. Let's take a quick look at the SPY now though. The SPY, very much a similar situation, but they were able to hold that SPY above that 50 day moving average. We did lose the 200, but not a major Major problem here as long as we can hold that 50 day moving average so keep a close eye on that and again we're trying to pump up here in the pre-market which is kind of interesting we've got Europe is basically flat this morning and Asian markets were mixed last night um, with these rising energy costs and things um, kind of adding some concern and we have a NATO meeting today um, on you know with the topic of ukraine and russia and um for some reason only the u.s seems to be able to say hey no worries here we're going to push forward to the upside so kind of keep an eye on that today we do run that potential that we could whipsaw this in the morning as that data comes out just watch that closely now SPY, very similar situation where um, there's that upside trend that we've broken nicely to the upside. We do have significant price resistance in the chart right in here that we'll have to be thinking about if those bulls are able to push on through and we'll have some price support down in here that we'll wanna watch if those bears reemerge and fight back today. And if we take a look at our QQQ now, NASDAQ did a really good job yesterday even though they they ultimately ultimately bowed to the bears um, at the end of the day, they really held in there strong with some big tech trying to push the markets higher um, on the day. There's that downtrend break, and we have some price support right in here that could hold um, our us uh, if those bears um, decide to get feisty yet today. And then I would watch that resistance level right through here. Um, uh, if we can push on through and kind of um, deal with some of these um, data points today, we'll want to watch that closely. Keep in mind, let's take a look at, at the Russell. Oh, oh, and by the way, that um, IWM also held above its 50-day moving average, um, pulling back. And this actually sets up a pretty nice-looking potential buy pattern if it can hold around that 50-day. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern, and a nice little resting pullback could set up that opportunity that we can maybe move on up. But unfortunately, in the Russell, we just have a wall of price resistance up here that we would have to get through. And I honestly 
with the way the numbers are coming out um, on the internals of the market, I'm just not really sure we're going to have enough energy to be able to push through there. But you never know. So keep a close eye on that. If we do push back down, I would look for a little bit of price support maybe right in here. If that were to fail, of course, we'd go back down into this area and with such a big level of price resistance up here we'll want to watch that level pretty close let's take a look at our vix now our vix yesterday um ended the day pushing up just a little bit um it, it was a little bit of back and forth yesterday on that vix but we ended up holding in here around um that support level here in the chart you can see if i draw a line across there there's quite a little bit of price evidence in here that we, there could be a little bit of support in there but the good news is that we continue to hold below that trend so we've broken that trend to the um that was to the upside we've broken that down so even if we rally back we might find some resistance in that chart and continue to push that volatility back down. However, if those um, bears do re-engage for some reason, if we find something for them to hold on to, if they were to pop back through that, we could see that fear creep up pretty quickly. If we have reason for those bulls to engage, um, then we certainly would want to be watching some support level right down in here on that chart if um, they can continue to ease that uh, fear in the market. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. Now T2122, as I said yesterday, I know no one likes to hear this. I, I mean, I, I get it. But I said yesterday, you know, there's never been a time when we haven't pushed up into this area and we haven't seen some relief um, in that. You can see, you can go back as far as you want in T2122 and that's that's the way the indicator works. And um, so we did get that little bit of relief or pullback yesterday in that T2122, that overextension that we had. Now, what I mentioned to Rightway Options folks yesterday is I pointed out an area here in the chart that looked like this. Just because we're up here in that um, overbought condition in the market doesn't necessarily mean we have to just slam it all the way back down. That's been the normal course of action here lately, just whipsawing up and down wildly. But maybe we could do a little bit more of a resting consolidation in this area. And you can see right in here, we did have that period of time where we can kind of bounce around in this area. So watch that closely just because we're kind of still holding in that bearish reversal zone doesn't necessarily mean we have to collapse all the way back down. So watch that closely. And remember guys, T2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go. All it's really doing is pointing out the pressure points when we've kind of reached an overbought condition or an oversold condition. And um, just pulling back in here, what that means is if the bulls can find reason um, to move higher, and they're trying to do that here in the pre-market, then we could push back up into this area. And if those bears find some reason to engage, it just tells us that we have a pretty big downside opportunity if those bears were to get really engaged here um, in selling. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at our T2108. Now T2108 pulled back yesterday. It needed to. Um, we just kind of got a little bit carried away on that bullish run to the upside, got a little overextended, and so we pulled back. Now, if you notice right in here, that's right along the downtrend of that chart. So not a major surprise, but the good news is, even though it did pull back, it didn't really break down. We didn't crack down through some levels of price support in the chart. So we're holding in a range here. So I'm still going to give this one slightly up to the bulls. They're holding in there and they're defending pretty well. We'll see if they can continue to do that as some of this data rolls out this morning. About 50% of the stocks holding in there above their 40 day moving average. So that's a major improvement. And then if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 was also quite a substantial improvement over what we've seen lately. About 30 5% of our stocks holding above their 200 day moving average, but unfortunately just hasn't been as strong as you can see 
haven't been able to break through um, these downtrends we did pop through some resistance there and we didn't on that selling yesterday we didn't break back down below that level so we've got kind of a tough area here for those stocks below the 200 day moving average they they really need it to, to get a little bit more engagement going on before we can kind of sound um, you know an all clear in the market um, this would be exactly the place you want to be watching for those bears to reemerge and maybe push us back down so watch that close and then let's take a look at our t2101 t2101 has been a little bit interesting here um, it has spiked up it had a little bit of pullback yesterday but i don't think it's giving us really good quality data here and the reason i say that guys is if you take a look at um, the volume that has allowed been moving us around notice that our volume um is relatively weak i mean yesterday was just really anemic most of the day until we saw that dark pool activity starting to come in to the market but our volume just hasn't been confirming that we're re that we've really got big institutional support um, in this rally so watch that carefully let's take a look at a um um, our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar um, I've been alluding to this this morning we've got a few things that we're going to pay attention to need to pay attention to first off and I've mentioned this throughout the week durable goods orders this morning that's going to be an important report and right now the durable goods consensus estimate is for that to come in at a negative number now if we were to hold in there right on that number um, not get any worse than what um, analysts estimate the bulls may still be able to hold on here and um, even use that for some bullishness but we do have to kind of keep in mind guys there's all of these metrics starting to show us that our economy is slowing due to the impacts of inflation so we'll want to watch that closely if this does come in negative it is telling us that our economy is starting to slow and that doesn't really um, add to this idea that we should just be buying up everything in the market so be kind of careful as um, as we rally into resistance levels but that being said if that number comes in better than ex than expected then we could certainly um, get those bulls engaged if it happens to come in worse than expected uh, you might expect those bears to um, get a little bit feisty here this morning so watch that close then we've got the jobless claims jobless claims have been holding in there really good really strong I don't expect to see um, a major change in that um, however inflation can and um, a, a more aggressive Fed can have an impact um, on those layoffs so we'll want to watch that um, we've got a PMI report we've got several several uh, Fed speakers here today that we'll want to keep an, uh, um, an eye on and I do think we want to continue to keep an eye on these bond auctions um, we're inching closer and closer and closer to a yield inversion in those bonds uh, bond yields so we'll want to watch those pretty closely if we do happen to invert that usually will trigger um, quite a little bit of selling uh, coming in in the market so watch those close and then tomorrow as you plan forward keep in mind we've got consumer sentiment that's one of my favorite indicators out there because we are a consumer economy um, that one is very important to me because that report will tell us what, how our consumers are feeling based on um, these rising prices and it's actually at a very low level now let's hope it doesn't go any lower and then we've got pending home sales tomorrow that we'll want to be paying attention to as well with a few more Fed speakers let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today our earnings calendar we have an interesting day really an interesting week we're really winding down um, this quarter and so although we have our biggest day today a large number of stocks on the list today over 80 on the list today we really don't have that many that are notable and the reason I say that is because so many of these are very small cap um, AMPS not the kind of stocks that are really going to move the market or provide an awful lot of inspiration to move the market around so we do have a couple like um, DRI Darden 
um, that you know has that potential to be notable and you can see it looks like it's it's getting a little bit of back and forth here this morning um, but for the most part FDS um, this certainly is um, a notable here but not one of those uh, name um, or very highly known um, ticker symbols that's really going to move us a ton. We've got little stocks like NIO trying to move around here on its report, um, TITN, you know, um, a few things moving around here, but nothing that is just really particularly notable that you would expect to move the market a bunch. So if you want to collect, uh, catch that full list of notables this morning, make sure you click that link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog. So with that, guys, how about we take a quick look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me that favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy to be helpful if you could please do me that favor leave a brief comment um, and click that thumbs up button it helps the channel to continue to grow probably more than anything else and I just truly truly appreciate you guys taking the time to do that um, the engagement in these videos has been uh, pretty strong and and I'm just um, really thankful for everyone who appreciates this kind of content that doesn't provide just a whole bunch of hype or prediction. It's just really looking at the technicals of the chart, trying to decide how we may want to approach the market for today and doing that real simple look at price action that makes a big difference in your trading. So let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. Make sure you're paying very, very close attention to the risk of the these trades and you should never ever ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas make sure you make it your own let's take a look um, tractor supply I actually put alert on tractor supply yesterday um, we pushed up through this little resistance area in the chart we're trying to deal with some all-time highs here in tractor supply. Now, one of the reasons this stock is interesting to me is because inflation is becoming so high. I think urban farming is really starting to um, gain some ground here. There's going to be a lot of folks with the prices that we're seeing thinking about planting gardens and doing those kind of things. And, and companies like tractor supply could potentially benefit from that. So keep an eye on this with this nice little higher um, um, uh, consolidation that we have in this chart. Uh, I want to be watching this for that next opportunity that that may pop on through breaking through that resistance to the upside. So keep a close eye on it. It's not when you buy um, in anticipation of the move, you wait for that move to occur. So keep a close eye on that. You might want to take a look at like um, FedEx. FedEx is um, trying to make some interesting moves here, trying to break some downtrends and hold some higher lows. Notice we've popped up, we're pulling back, we're trying to hold in here. We've got a little tiny upside trend maybe working for us in here. What we need to see is those buyers perk up in here and get going. And this is a pattern that can push you right up into that 50-day moving average. So watch that closely. It doesn't really have huge upside potential, but it may have a nice little bump to the upside. You could also say the same for UPS. And UPS is a better looking chart overall in the sense that Notice here, it's up above its 50-day moving average and holding in there. So we've got this upside trend. It's a relatively flat, but what I do like about it is that we are holding this price support in this resting pullback. Now, it is entirely possible this may have to rest all the way out to that trend, but it's also possible we could engage in here someplace and maybe try to push through some of these resistance levels in that chart. Um, I also think, guys, um, you still have to uh, really keep your eyes on um, these miners. If you take a look at the spider select sectors, there are only three spider select sectors at the moment holding 20-day trends. 
um, XME is one of those that's metals and mining and if you take a look in here commodity prices are very very strong and continue to show strength so Barrick Gold um, a lot of these miners looking good and holding up quite well so watch for those opportunities for those to continue to move higher you might take a look at you know Newmont mining that's been really strong perking up and moving on through in this trend and maybe ready to break through to new highs keep an eye on that so quite a few of those mining stocks and um, uh, mining ETFs are looking very very strong we might also want to take a look at copper um, take a look at SCCO copper has been really really strong it may be due for a little rest and a pullback here in that chart but copper has been pushing to the upside watch for that opportunity if this can hold some support in here for that next chance that move on might move on higher and FCX would be another one I think to pay attention to as it tries to test this resistance up here see whether or not it can actually break through and move to the upside again um, anything commodity wise um, I was suggesting only three of the spider select sectors have been holding 20-day trends that's XME and XLE energy um, also doing that and energy prices continue to surge this morning we're looking at energy um, uh, uh, Brent crude prices over 121 a barrel uh, excuse me yeah 121 a barrel and trying to tick up just a little bit we may go a um, little bit higher here this morning so keep an eye on that anything in that energy sector oil and gas has been doing very very good um, take a look at um, stocks like Devon Energy really strong take a look at ConocoPhillips really strong so a lot of these stocks um, could continue to set up good potential entries in these trades so keep a close eye on them and then uh, you may want to take a look at um, some of those alternative energies um, as you guys know I'm holding plug uh, power and plug had a really nice day yesterday popping up and actually I ended up selling the 35 strike may calls against it just to hedge the position um, and thanks to someone in the room that pointed out that it was testing the 200 day moving average yesterday um, I've been watching and waiting for this but I was talking in the in the room and somebody pointed that out and gave me that opportunity to to catch that almost right at the perfect time for that little resting pullback but keep an eye on this um, we're starting to hold up in here moving in these trends we still have resistance challenges in this chart but I think a lot of these alternative energies will continue to show signs of strength Strength. take a look at um, stocks like Nova in the solar area setting up looking very very good I mentioned this a couple of days ago and we're trying to push through that resistance in the chart and move on through um, anything in um, that area has been starting to show some pretty good signs of, of upside potential so watch those solar stocks so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading and um, if you guys have any questions or um, things that I can help you with please make sure you leave those in the comments I want to wish you guys all um, the very very best and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning take care everyone